As a compositor or visual effects artist, before working with anything that involves colors, like a color grading or maybe the green screen removal, uh, the blending modes, some kind of an effect that uh, includes the transparency, like a glow effect, we need to keep in mind the bit depth, also known as the color depth and uh, bits per pixel or bits per channel, referring to the uh, color channels. I will not go into mathematics of it, but in short, the bit depth is a number of bits in a single pixel, which affects the color of that pixel as well as the color of the overall image. The more bits there is, the more colors and tones and shades can be produced inside the image. Also, the transition between the colors and the image is much smoother, as well as the control of the colors when you color grade and post. Let me show you some visual examples. If you zoom in on the picture, you will see that it is made out of small squares of different colors and tones. This square is known as pixel. Now, pixel contains an information inside of it. Each pixel has got a number of bits that is represented by the number 0 or 1. In this case, if that would be a picture, it would only contain black and white colors because it only contains one bit per channel, either black, zero, or white, one. Therefore, that picture would be black and white. In this example, you have pixels that contains more bits inside. Therefore, you can now bring out more tones in it. Therefore, the picture will be grayscaled. And in the third example, you have more bits per pixel. Therefore, you can even create more colors, more tones. I hope you get the point. Here's another example. Here you can see how the number of bits in a pixel affects the transition between tones and colors. For example, if we go from black to white and we have only one bit, you will only have black and white. And the transition would have really strong contrast. With two bits, you have a little bit more of a gray tone in between. And the further you go, with more bits, 14 bits, you have a smoother transition there between black and white. Now let's view the same picture in different bits. For example, this picture only contains one bit per pixel. This one is with two bits per pixel. Four, this one is eight, and finally, 24. As you can see, the more bits there is, the more color tones and colors can be contained in one pixel, and the transition is smoother. Most of the time, we either work in eight bits, 16 bits, or 32 bits. Now how to find out how many bits does the picture has? When you import the picture under the project panel, under the resolution you will see millions of colors. Millions of colors means 8 bits. If it says trillions of colors, it means it contains somewhere between 10 and 16 bits. If it says floating point, it means 32 bits. So you cannot change the bit depth of the imported footage but you can adjust the bit depth of the working space. In After Effects, you have to go either through File and Project Settings and click Color, and next to the Depth drop-down menu, you can choose either 8, 16, or 32 bits per channel. When you choose the bits, you click OK, and it applies it on your workspace. Alternatively, you can click this part here, and you will go to the same screen. The fastest way to do it, you simply hold Alt and click this button, and you will see visually the number changing from 8, 16, and 32. Those are three main bits per channel that are are available in After Effects. Now let me show you directly in the software how different number of bits affect the quality of the color in the image. Before that, let's create a ramp effect to have some kind of colors in our scene here. So now we have black and white. If we open the info panel here, you'll see RGB channels. Now it is empty, but whenever you point your cursor onto the viewer on the colors on the screen, under the RGB channels, you will see the values going from 0 to 1, 1 being white and 0 being dark. Now let's make an experiment. Let's open the ruler, take one bit from top to bottom, and I will go with my cursor from the top line to bottom line, and let's watch the values, how fast they change. We are now in 8 bits. So if we go from top to bottom, you will see that numbers increase slowly, and they change in big increments. If we switch to 32 bits and move in the same speed from top to bottom, you will see that numbers increase much faster and in smaller increments, even though I move slower than before. So there are more tones in between. Now to see it visually, let's bring this back. Let's say I have an image here and you decide to adjust some brightness using curves. And you see that there's a color bending appearing here because we are in 8 bits. Now if we change it to 16 bits, you will see that this color bending disappears and the transition between the tones and colors is much more smoother. Now visually, it might seem there's not a big difference between 16-bit 
and 32 bits. However, some effects does change under the 32 bits. We already know that 32 bits contain even more colors, tones and shades, but let me demonstrate you another visual example. I created a text here called bit depth and if we apply an effect called glow and adjust the threshold, radius and intensity, first of all we are in 8 bits now. If we change it to 32 bits, you will see a drastic change. The colors are different, the brightness is different, so be aware that some effects, like in this case glow, look different under different bits per pixel. One more important thing to mention. First let's go back to 16 and navigate my cursor onto the brightest area. You will see in the info panel here that the value of G and B does not go higher than 1. That's the limit. If we change it to 32 bits, now check the info panel and you will see that the values can go higher than 1. What it means is that in 32 bits, even though the monitor cannot show you anything brighter than 100% white or darker than 100% black, it still contains that information and it is available for us to be brought out. Let me show you. So we are now in 32 bits and if I go and create an exposure effect and lower it down, this overexposed area does still hold the information. If we compare it with 8 or 16 bits, we don't have that color data in those pixels, we cannot bring it back and therefore the area goes flat. So each project is always different and you'll have to know which bit depth to choose accordingly. However, I would still recommend always work in 16th bit and whenever the project demands it, switch to 32 bits. Whenever you need to have a serious control over the colors or the visual effects. And we know how to switch the bit depth while we're working. Let's go and see how to choose the bit depth for rendering. When you are in an output module, you will see the drop down menu next to the depth. And you will see that there is an option here. Millions of colors is 8 bits, trillions is from 10 to 16, and floating point is 32. As you can see, they are grayed out because different formats and codecs allow different bit depths. For example, we are now in format AVI and it only allows 8 bits. But if we change the codec here, you can choose 10 bits here. You will see that it does change automatically to trillion of colors. For example, if we go to target sequence, you will see that it only allows 8 bits as well. TIFF, for example, allows you to choose all three of them. So different formats allows you to use different bit depth. This is the first lesson involving the colors and how they affect the workflow of the compositor and the visual effects artist. There will be more tutorials in the future about the colors. So stay tuned, subscribe, like, share. Thank you for your patience as always. See you soon.